All right, everybody, check this out. I had to go to the bathroom. I was getting bites, and I kept missing them, so I knew they were gar. And um, I got my... Now, check this out. I got to give props, props to that whisker light. That battery, I have used it, I bet you, over 30 hours, and the light is still green. I've, this is my sixth fishing trip that I've been out here, and I use it six to eight hours each time. So, uh, yeah, I like that light. I like the other the whisker sticks, too, but this whisker light or whatever it's called, they're both called almost the same thing. But um, I got it when I bought the the uh, the whisker seeker when I got that discount on it because that one broke, the eyes broke, which I still got to fix. Which uh, yeah, it's it's messing my line up. But that's the one that it just caught. But this one is 15 pounds. It went you know 14.9, 15.1, 15.8. You know, it just kept going back and forth, and it finally we got the shot at 14.9. But uh. I got up into my truck. Danielle's like, you got a bite. And I'm like, I got to go. And she started reeling. You know, it broke my line. The line went all around the mouth. It was around there like three times. So, but yep, 15 pounds. So I'm fixing to clean it up for Patrick. And being we finally got one big enough. Wallace, if you do watch my videos, um, Wallace Knife Works. I want to give a shout out to him again. You know, I am gonna do my best to clean this right. I am gonna take the 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 skin, and I'm gonna dry it out for a week or two. Then by then I'll have my disability, and I'm gonna uh, figure out how to. I don't know how to do it. I don't know if I can roll it up. So Wallace, if you're watching, let me know after I dry it out. How do I package it? You know, I mean that's kind of a long. You know, and I don't want to cut it in half so you can make a couple knife things. I want to I want to send the whole thing to you. I'll cut the fins and everything off on the outside to where it don't go into the skin. But um, I will dry it out and I will send it to you. And um, I'm going to keep the mouth. Look at them. Look at them teeth. That is some wicked teeth. And hey, Wallace, I'm going to use that knife you gave me, that flay knife. That's what I'm using to uh, clean up on it some. I don't know if I'm going to flay it. I've never done a gar. Look at them teeth. And you know this is sharp. This fin up here is sharp. Danielle was cleaning the mud off, and she cut three of her fingers. Well, I just, I cut my finger right there. And uh, y'all see that, that red mark right there? I picked a gar up yesterday, just a little small one. It didn't even weigh a pound, and I picked it up so I could move it. And when I grabbed it right here, it moved, and my hand come up, and that thing got me. And it, it, it I mean, it, it went in about a half an inch into my finger. It went deep. It's, man, it's like it hit cartilage and everything else. But, uh, like I said, I don't know what's in there, but that sucker went in. It had a sharp, and that right there, that's cut me right in that crease. That's. But um, anyway, I'm fixing to clean it up. Uh, I think I'm going to put the phone on pause, and hopefully it'll stay. Nobody will touch it. And after I clean it, I'll come back, and um, I'll show y'all what it looks like clean. So uh, y'all hold on there a minute, and I'll be right back. If the phone happens to go off, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll have another video, and God bless everybody. Well. <laughs> Well, Danielle, we cut the head off with the hatchet that uh, Bob Zamora made me. Cut it off on this table, and uh, Danielle's cleaning the head. I'm gonna keep that skull. Uh, I wanna, I want, I want the, I want the teeth. But uh, I was joking around talking about wiggle, 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 and I'm gonna get a troll, and I'm gonna, he's gonna put a thumbs down, but I don't care. But uh, we're gonna collect a little blood to put on uh on bait. But uh, that's his tongue. <laughs> Oh, that's his tongue. Is his tongue get moving? Lick it, lick it, dude. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. Sorry, God. <laughs> but look at that. It's cut his head off, and his tongue is still moving. Marcus. But that means he's probably got his airbag. I've never cut one open, so I have no idea what they look on the inside. I would do a video and show y'all. I know, right? I mean, actually, you know what? I take that back. He's going to cut it open with the shears. I want to show y'all how this is done. That way... I, I need a uh, fillet knife. If... I got my fillet knife right here. All right. 
<clears throat> this is uh, the one Wallace gave me. Y'all, like I say, y'all check out Wallace's channel. He's a he's a good man. I got a I got a great fillet knife now. I got a good hatchet that uh definitely needs uh sharpened. I'll let you pull it over. I cut a lot of wood with it. So uh we'll get that out of the way, but I know people go and hit these things in the head to make them not move and all that before you clean them. And um, I stuck a knife in the skull, and that sucker still flopped around. But, uh, yeah, y'all watch how he does this. Yeah, it's it's tough to... There's a, uh, I'm going to put a little plug in there for Tall Fisherman Jay. He's got a lot of subs. He did a cook, a catch and cook, and it was a gar. Oh, that, that was the funniest one. This is the only guy I'll put his I'll put his uh uh Number. notif I'll put his uh thing down in the description. But yeah, he's funny. He's good. He does some you know little comedy stuff and all that. But he's he's a fisherman. He goes all over to fish. But a lot of people do a catch and cook. He did one of a shad. He took a shad, which is bait, which I think it was smaller ones. I don't know if he got a big one or not. But um, he got one, he cleaned it up, and he cooked a couple of them, and um, he ate them. And I guess it tasted like fish. I don't know if he'd ever do it again. You, uh, you know who else did one? Who? Uh, Luke from Cats and Carp. Did Luke? That's right. Luke yeah, just a, 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 month did, a month ago. Yeah, he did the big ones. Yeah, he uh, yeah, he cut up the big ones and ate it. Did he... Uh, yeah, I don't think he said he would do it again either. He said they was all right, the fishy taste and yeah. everything else. I, yeah, if you put a good batter on them, because I don't know. Uh, if I'm mistaken, Tall Fisherman Jay didn't batter it. I mean, no. I don't know if he put seasoning on it, but he just caught, cleaned, and cooked it. So if you don't put seasoning and stuff on it, you know, you're not going to, you're going to just only taste the fish. You got to put your touch, your, you know, your seasoning on there. That's what makes fish taste, you know, better. Because I'm sure a lot of this fish don't, it's all fishy. It doesn't taste good. You put your stuff on there. But me, if you eat fish and you, you don't like that, that fishy taste, take and put some mustard in a bowl. Just enough to cake your thing. But put a little bit of hot sauce, like three drops in the mustard. You take and you roll it in the mustard with the hot sauce. Then you put it, um, if you want to do your egg or whatever, but I, I go from that and I go right to my, um, Louisiana batter with, um, I add a little Tony's pepper and garlic salt, but you put it in that and then you fry it. You don't taste no fishy taste. That mustard and a little bit of the hot sauce, it will take the gamey fish taste out of any fish. I mean, I, I've done the, go the other way up. Yeah, try it that way, because that way you can go up under the skin. <laughs> but yeah, these ain't these things ain't easy to clean. And this is the only way. Now, I've seen a guy go and take a hatchet, and he cut it, and it must have been sharp, because he hit it, hit it, hit it, and he went all the way down that back. But I've never seen nobody do it, but usually down the back. Now, he just bought these shears for $12, I guess, 99 or whatever from Walmart. Lifetime warranty. So, we're fixing to see if these shears are uh, what you use. See, that makes it a little better, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, so you were going upside down. I was trying to make sure I cut the... Uh, yeah. That's perfect because I can and get see, the meat. And yeah, and that, it's going to come off that meat good. It's pure white meat. Yeah. Now, I did try gar. Uh, we bought some buffalo ribs um, before Dad passed away. We went to a fish place up in Monroe. We finally found one that had buffalo ribs. And we was talking, I was talking to the lady about the gar, and she gave me a few small pieces. They weren't big. It was maybe three bites, or maybe four bites. Okay, is there something in that cooler? Mm -mm. I swear I just heard something. Yeah, no. Wow, what do you do, bump into it? Yep. Damn, it sounded like I heard ice and something moving in there. But anyway, we fried it up. I don't know. Maybe I didn't cook it all, you know, cook it, you know, enough. I don't know if you got a black in it or whatever, but um, I didn't like it. I didn't. This is back. I didn't use the mustard and hot sauce because dad couldn't have hot sauce. Um, when he lost his tongue and he had his taste buds were gone. He everything he ate, he could have, have mashed potatoes and gravy and it was hot. It was, you know, 
you know, it burned him when he ate it. Anything, you know, even sodas and stuff, it was just, it was too hot for him to drink or too hot for him to eat. But, boy, my poor little old table. We're going to have to put it in the water and clean it. Yeah, that sucker's still moving. Oh, dude, we get down to the guts. I want to take its liver or whatever, or maybe its heart, and, uh, you know, yeah, and, and you trolls, if you watch us, if you got something bad to say because I, I cut the head off and all that, hey, go at it. All I can say, I think it's kind of funny sometimes what trolls say on different videos, and some of it's kind of comical, and I think they do it just to do it. But, you know, you can thumbs down my videos. I, it, it ain't going to bother me. I don't do this for money. I do this for me and for the people that actually say they like my videos, you know. I, I can't believe I've got 715 subs. You know, not asking for a sub. I, you know, I, I probably would be at a 1,000 if I would ask people to sub me, if I'd go around. But I've never, you know, I know if some people you sub them, they'll sub you back. So, you know, I know I could get a few. But um, most of mine, I don't really sub till they sub me. Or when people do shout outs and say, please go sub them, you know, I'll, if I don't know, if I ain't already subbed them, I will go sub them. But, uh, hey, I, I welcome all your trolls. It gives me a view. It gives me, you know, it's like helps your ratings. So, you know, I don't care. You can thumbs me down all you want. But, uh, you said how I got it. Yeah, see, so check that out. Can't clean off the skin. Yep. Yeah, I'll have to get a hold of, uh, uh, yeah, just try not to. We, I want to try to get it in one whole piece. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, it's going to be one whole piece because once we do this, we're going to have to take the fillet knife and just fillet the... Because all we're getting is this piece right here. These two pieces right yeah. here. Yeah, and so what? The guts and all that just pull right they, out? They, we're not even going to touch them. Yeah, well, I got I got to take them out. Well, you got to take them out, but yeah. they're right here. So oh, once we get that... Fuck we you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's Daniel's fish. He's cleaning it. He's going to eat it. So, yeah, I'll... I, I ain't got problem helping them out. You didn't do any work. Oh, dude, there's a beaver out here, and every night that we fish, we'll see it, you know, come across this way or this way. And usually he won't even notice me. I won't have lights on or something, and I'll be like, hey, beaver, and it scares him. He flaps his tail. Well, he come a swimming out here last night, and he goes, other. I said, watch this. I took my, my weight, and I threw it, and hit like five foot behind him. Scared the hell out of him. He, boy, he flopped his tail, but then he ends up coming up and going over there. I think over there with the, the the shitter where people can take their... Now, get this. Houseboats can bring their houseboats over here and dump their sewage. I've been here 10 years, and I've seen one boat dump their sewage. So you can't tell me, and I'm sorry, Monroe. I'm sorry, West Monroe. But people dump their sewage in this river. You know, and it's it's kind of a shame, you know. You know, people talking about you shouldn't pee, you shouldn't poop in the river. You know, fish do it, but... They're dumping, and I know they're dumping toilet paper because everybody accidentally dumps their toilet paper in the toilet even when they're not supposed to. But, uh, yeah, that's just, uh, that's, you know, that's just too much because there's people that live out down here full time, you know, and they're dumping their sewage in the river because I know, I know they're not sucking it up, sucking it out and taking it off anywhere. All right, well, I'm going to put y'all on pause. I'm at 13 minutes. I'm going to pause this and um, we'll be back once we get to the meat to fillet. But uh, be right back. There it goes. I don't know if my glove will let me turn it on or not. But hey, y'all check this out. There's a spine down the middle. You go down both sides of it to cut the meat out. But uh, here, watch your Look at that piece of meat he's got. We're cutting the right. We're going to cut right there to the tail the for the skin and all that. But look at that. It's one big fillet. I've only seen, back when I first heard about doing gar... And even in the rest of the meat place, it's all steaks. They cut it. That way you get the spine and everything. But it's just big, long steaks. But look at that. And that's not even all the way to the tail. I guarantee you that's... Uh, Man, we're going to get the rest of that meat later. But. Yeah. So that's about 12. So that's that's 20, 22 inches of meat. But... uh. See, that's a bone. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll show you the two flays here in a minute, but I got the scales. 
15 pound fish, there is 5.557. So basically 5.5 pounds. Oh, you go ahead by six. Uh, meat. Yep, and there's a little bit more meat to go. But uh, yeah, check. Y'all seen that one fillet? But uh, let me let me call them out right quick. But check this out. Check that fillet out. That's a that's that second fillet. But you figure this fish, it's a uh, fifteen pounds. That it had to have been at least a. I'm gonna start bringing my measuring tape because that thing on, it's on my chair. It's twenty five inches, and the fish was a lot longer. So I'd say this was probably thirty six to forty inches. Which the heads, which the heads are freaking a foot long. <laughs> yeah, he's got a big old mouth. You just put it on your chest. Yeah. I'll sit here for now. But, uh, hmm? but that's kind of cool. Look how it, uh, get it focused. You know, now it's just got that rib, rib bone going down through it, but it just, it just flays right open. And you keep filleting it, and you go up under the belly, which I guess you can't eat the belly meat. And don't quote me on this, but if we're not mistaken, if a gar has eggs, and you clean it, and you end up cutting into it, it will, I guess, it'll poison the meat. I, I know they said they, there's uh, something about the eggs that's actually poisonous. They said don't eat the eggs; the eggs are poisonous. Yeah. So uh, thank God this is a, a either a dude or uh, a woman not pregnant anymore, but y'all spawn season's gone. I mean, it's kind of a bummer. There's a lot of stomach meat. That's a lot of meat, but I guess you can't eat it. Uh, you eat the belly, and it's you know that's the the fishy, the nasty taste. But uh, what do they call that in deer tenderloin? But yeah. look at look at that tenderloin that's in there. I mean, you got 26 to 30 inches of tenderloin if you pull it all out. Which he took just the tenderloin. He didn't take the tail off yet. But uh, yeah. He's got, this is going to feed, he's got six in his family, so, uh, you want to say hi, Patrick? Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, now, yeah, I done gave him a shout out, um, and actually a couple of y'all went and subbed him. Thank you. I really appreciate that. He is fixing to start making some videos, him and his friends, and, um, is your lady going to be on there? Uh, she's going to be on some. She's not going to be on the food challenges, but, uh, mm -hmm. my co-host, one of my co-hosts from the podcast, me and him are going to be doing uh, spicy food challenges, and we're going to be doing, I'm going to do a, um, a vlog in the next couple of days, and post it on YouTube, do mm -hmm. like a little diary type deal, and uh, just to put more content up, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the company, and what I went through to get to it, and everything else, so I may do some stuff with the kids also, I'm still debating on it though. Yeah, and see, people like seeing family stuff. You know, I, fo I follow the Abel family. I follow uh, Doors in Time. Really great families. I've followed both of them for over a year. Abel family's traveling around. But when you do a video and you do it with your, your kids, you go fishing or riding or walking, whatever you do, them are good videos. That's why I like to do my fishing videos with my friends, you know, with you know, Danielle when she shows up. Because people want to see that, you know, you don't see, you do on YouTube, you know, people, their families, but you really don't see a lot of families doing things with the kids no more. Parents go work five days a week, sometimes six or seven. Poor Bob, he's, he, he'll work seven days a week for, you know, a month. He just, he don't get, a, you know, get his time off and all that. And, you know, it's, you know, he's got a hard job. He's got a, especially when it's 104 degrees outside. And up in an attic doing them big old eight inch pipes, the schedule 40 pipes and all of that. You know, it's 150 degrees up in the mattocks. And, uh, Where yeah, I, 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 could, I couldn't do it. There's no way. Or being out in the sun digging holes all day to put pipe. But, uh, you know, you know, people just don't do family things no more. You know, so I'm glad there's a lot of family channels, people doing, you know, challenges with their kids and, you know, doing spoof, you know, they do, you know, funny stuff. It's just, you know, I love it. Uh, what's that other channel I follow? Uh, Bugs something. Oh, my God, I can't think. I forget their name. 
but um him and his son do a lot of things with little toy cars and little gadgets and little you know toy gadgets you know doing things but uh oh bugs bug oh my god i can't i hate not doing it i tell you what i'll i'll add them in my description too anybody i've talked to i'll put in there and i've got a new uh guy he's a young kid he fishes I wish I wrote down his name. He's got, in a year, 221 subs, and he wants to, by next July, he wants to have 500. Well, that's a year away. Yeah, if he got half this year, he get, but um, I want to boost his channel. I'm going to do a couple of shout-outs for him, and um, I want to, I'd like to see him hit his 500 mark, maybe before Christmas or after Christmas, because uh, people like fishing channels, you know, and when you got uh, older teenagers, even younger teenagers going out there, they get a lot of views because, you know, a lot of kids don't, they just don't do nothing no more. They, you know, lazy sitting in the rooms on their video games, on their phones, you know, and uh, it's parents too, you know, but uh, I'd be outside seven days a week if I could. But yeah, look at that, look at that skin. Uh, uh, Wallace, I... I, I, I hope this is what you want. I hope this is a good size for you. That ought to get you a couple of, you know, what, one, two, three, maybe four uh, sheaths, you know, depending on what size knife. But, uh, yeah, when I get the money, I promise you, I want to get a knife made, uh, a bigger knife. I don't know, like if I said like a machete, not a machete, but something that, you know, I can I cut a little twig down, you know, something that's, uh, you know, not too big, but... So, you know, even if it's like a one inch tree, I can get it out of my way if I need to. But um, I want a gar skin made with one of them. So I'll talk to you on Messenger or something off of uh, Facebook if you're still on there and find out, you know, what it will cost me. And if all else, I'll make payments. You know, I'll send you the money and when it's paid off, you know, you can make it. But I would really love to buy a gar skin uh, knife. I think they look so cool. I mean, you keep the scales on them. It's just, it's too cool. And the knife did good. It flayed, it flayed good, but the tip went dull. I think going into that bone. So um, I sharpened it up with that. But uh, my little straight blade right there I got from uh, my knife group. Uh, Ravencrest last month for um, $9.99. It, boy being the way that's made and this is even kind of dull because i cut a i cut a big old 18 wheeler tarp up but uh it's going i mean it's going right down to the skin it's doing a real good job too yeah that's that uh that fin yeah but okay but i'm gonna let y'all go uh in about a week or so once that dries out i'll let you i'll let you see what the skin looks like but uh, I appreciate anybody watching tonight. Twenty-three minutes—that's that's my limit. I I shouldn't have done it done it this long. I really got to learn to edit. But um, I like life. I like doing it as you do it. You know, I don't like to even pause. But you know what? I, I knew this was gonna take a while. I don't blame you because I'm not really gonna be editing my stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, editing it you can fake it. Yeah. Now I know a lot of y'all. I'm not saying y'all do it. You know, y'all edit. Y'all do real good. But you know, some things they really need to be, you know, like doing food and, you know, stuff like that. You know, I don't mind, you know, edit. I would probably edit too. But when you're cleaning a fish, you know, you should do the whole thing. That really shows them. Don't edit a, a, a fish cleaning. Now, I did hit pause, but I'm still new to this a year and a half, a year and seven months. So uh, eight months, you know, I don't want to do a, a, a 40, 50... <laughs> 40 or 50 what is that i don't know but you saw it moving oh that's his heart that can't be his heart no it ain't i wonder if that's oh dude that's crazy you sure i don't think his heart that small what do y'all think what is glove i can't believe i can get my fingerprint on there with the glove Uh, I don't think so, cause yeah, his heart should be hard. See, it's still in here. I yeah. I got all the meat off of this stuff. You think that's part of his tongue? It could be. Or does he have one of them things in the back of the throat like we do? That. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
If so, it's on the floor. Yeah. But, uh. I don't know what it is. But, anyway, I'm glad I got this little tray. It went in the bottom of a birdcage, and I had a stand for it and everything, and a guy gave me $10 for it, and he didn't take the tray. So I use it for fishing. Look. I, I don't know, but that the thing that hangs in the back. Yeah, that, that uvula, that, that sounds kind of nasty. It's the little thing that hangs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, edit, cut that out. I don't know what the uvula is, but I don't know. That, in the back. that might be the thing that dangles in the back. But <laughs> I'm not going there. This is kind of a family channel. You know, I, might, I might say <laughs> shit, and I might say the f word everywhere, but I don't want to talk about the uvula. But <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm sorry. It's late. It's what two. 2.33 o'clock in the morning. But uh, 25 minutes, that's good. But anyway, y'all have a good night. Y'all get out and go fishing. Uh, and 15 pounds, good. Mine's 17, so I still got my daughter beat. <laughs> she didn't get one bigger than me. Y'all want to say hi? Say hi? What's your name? There's Marcus. What's your name? They're, they're, they're sleepy. <laughs> that's PJ. That's uh, his two young ones. But anyway, y'all have a good one, and I appreciate everything. And um, all them links will be down there in the description. Uh, please go check them out and see what y'all think. They're really good channels. But y'all have a good one. God bless.